Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. I continue my kick of revolvers that I seem to be as of late. Last week I brought you a video with the Smith & Wesson Model 19 from 1968. That pistol was in fantastic condition and I truly enjoyed bringing you that review. Today, however, we have a 1978 Colt Diamondback in 22 long rifle. I am told, and from what I read, the, the revolver in 22 long rifle, this particular one, was not very common. It was manufactured by Colt in Hartford, Connecticut, and it was done, they produced it from 1966 to 1988. Looking at some of the specs, it came with, uh, you can either get it with a two and a half inch or four inch or six inch barrel. The, this particular one in front of you is a six inch barrel, like I mentioned, in 22 long rifle, although you could also get it in 38 special. It is a double action revolver with six rounds and it has an adjustable rear sight. If you look at, at the rear here, and you see the, adjust, the adjustment screw. So it's like a target rear sight with a ramp front sight, all blacked out. Let you look at it for a bit as I read you some of the specs here. Now what, is, what else does it make this revolver, what, what else makes it special besides that it is a cold diamondback? Well, let me show you, put this aside. It has, not only has never been fired, this revolver has never been fired. I don't think the cylinder has ever turned, but also it has the original box, as you can see here, which makes it special. It is the original box to this pistol, and it has all the documentation, all the paperwork original to this pistol, to this revolver, I keep calling it a pistol. Now, originally Colt introduced the Diamondback as a deluxe, mo deluxe model in 1966. It's got a serrated hammer, as you can see there. It's got a ventilated rib right above the barrel where it says Diamondback. We already talked about the sights, the fully adjustable target sights and it has a full length barrel under lug. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this revolver has never been fired and I don't think the cylinder has ever turned. So I'm not gonna be disassembling it or showing you the trigger or, or anything else right now on it because I, I haven't made the decision. It's, the decision has not been made whether to fire this or not. But as you can see, there's absolutely no markings on it whatsoever. There you have the Rampart Colt with the original grips with a Colt medallion. Looking at it on the other side. It's just absolutely beautiful. Letting you take a look at it as I walk you through it. Just details. I like how the, the barrel protrudes a little bit right there. If you can see that, gives you a better look at the, at the sight. Now visually, it looks like a smaller python, right? One of the main differences is not only that it's in 22 long rifle, but the action was not tuned like the pythons were not as finely tuned as the Python, and the bluing is different. It doesn't have the royal blue finish that the Python does. Let you take a look at the front right here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to play with a, there it is, with a focus. Just show you as much detail as I can. Diamond back and 22 long rifle. The Py, the, the Python was originally built on Colt's I-frame, and the Diamondback, as you see in front of you, was built on the smaller D-frame, D-fame. Blah, 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 I can't speak, I'm sorry. D-frame, as used in the detective special. 
The last year of production for the Diamondback was in 1988. Now, the, the these revolvers have really been sought out by, by collectors who, by their demand, have driven the prices up substantially. And from what I've been able to see online and on auctions, revolvers like in this condition, unfired with the original paperwork and box, are going from anywhere from you know fifteen hundred to forty six hundred dollars. As you can see, I don't know if the light's going to catch this, but the top of the revol of the barrel here, this the slide. It's a more of a matte finish versus the shiny metal. So to reduce glare, I'm sorry guys, the light is not cooperating with me here. There it is. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick look at this revolver. Loving revolvers. What do you think? Do you own one? Have you shot one? Like I said, this one has never been shot and I don't know if it will. But here's a quick look. 1978, unfired Colt Diamondback and 22 long rifle. Leave me your, your comments, let me know what you think. And please do check out my Instagram page. I'm posting a lot of things there. You can take a look at what's coming before it hits YouTube. I post videos every Friday morning and sometimes on Wednesdays a shorter video I'll let you know what's coming up or just a, what do you think about this type of topic. So do check me on Instagram, follow me there as well. And as always, thank you for stopping by and God bless.